Hey, what's happening guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. Guys, this is actually the first head-to-head -head seasons gameplay that you've seen on the channel from Madden 16. I know I've been playing a lot of Draft Champions, having a lot of fun doing that. Kind of evens things out. I, I think my team's kind of stacked right now. I, some people gave me a couple cards, which was uh, very nice of them. So our, our team's looking pretty good right now. And in this one, guys, we're going up against somebody who has Chris Johnson, the flashback Chris Johnson, which is obviously a really, really good card. And I was doing my best to try and kind of contain the edges. That was really my goal coming into this one. And right here, I see him taking two runs to the outside to start things off. And then we stop him on the screen pass. So we decided to punt there. First play on offense for us here, and we were patient in the pocket there. We find an open man. That's Joe Horn. Tony Romo finds him. And now we're going to take off here with Terrell Davis off the edge. The quick toss runs over a bitch, and he is getting the first down. Huge gain there. 20-yard gain for Terrell Davis on his first play. And now my opponent's going to start playing the edge really, really aggressively. He's using his defensive end just about every single play here, which is leaving the passing lanes pretty much wide open for us, thankfully. But uh, unfortunately, he does end up making a couple of plays in this one. A little spoiler. But on this first drive, we pick up another nine there for Terrell Davis. And then we've got Dree Archer still getting some playing time for us because he's so damn fast. Getting down at the one-yard line. Romo doesn't get in the first time, but the second time, the QB sneak is unstoppable. Romo gets the touchdown. We're up 7 to nothing early in this one, guys. Defensively, we make a stop, and we nearly picked that one off. That would have been a sick user pick. Didn't quite happen for us. But again, we're up 7 nothing in this one. Feeling pretty good about it. Chris Johnson off the edge here. Just got to make the tackle. All right, he gets the first down. That's totally fine. For the most part, though, we're pretty much containing him. This time, though, he nearly breaks it. If he would have broken that tackle there from Roy Williams, that would have been a touchdown. He's going to try and take it up the middle again here, but he only picks up a couple this time, about five-yard gain. Third and five now, and again, on third down, he tries to go with the screen pass. We usered and allowed our guy to go in single coverage against that running back. We cannot allow him to beat us with that. Now, fourth down and 12, my opponent decided to go for it. Throws it into double coverage, of course. It's Madden 16, so you know that's going to be complete. And then the very next play, he throws a slant. We miss the tackle, and he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Frustrating play there. Uh, you know, I should have I should have probably known that he was going to end up passing there, given the amount of time that was left. But I, I thought for sure that there would be a possibility that we might be able to get a sack or something like that. But it just didn't happen. He got the touchdown. Terrell Davis, though, making things happen for us on offense. And look at this throw by Tony Romo. Again, finding Joe Horn on the edge there for another first down. Second and nine here, and we nearly get sacked there, but Romo gets the pass off, and there you go, Christian Akoya running somebody over. That truck stick working pretty well for me in this one. Terrell Davis broke a tackle, Akoya breaks a tackle, and then right here on first down, Dree Archer using the speed, getting into the end zone. He's like, what, 67 overall or something like that, but dude, he is a beast still. I don't care. We're still using him as our running back, or our backup running back, if nothing else. My opponent now has got some time here. Only 17 seconds left, though, in the first half. And he is going to throw a pick off his back foot right to Glover Quinn. And that leaves us with 12 seconds left here in the first half. We see single coverage out there on the edge. It's Brian Finner and it's Madden 16. The aggressive catch touchdown. Tony Romo looking amazing right now. He's got a touchdown through the air and a touchdown on the ground. And we're moving the ball in the second half here on the ground. Terrell Davis picking up one there. Second play of the drive, nice completion there to Travis Kelsey over the middle. Brings up a third and two, and we're going to take it again. Terrell Davis right up the middle, smashing him for another first down. Trying to continue our running game here, and it's working very, very well for us. The quick toss picking up another first down here. We take a big hit there, but it's not enough to make us fumble, so we do end up getting the first down. Now, unfortunately, we get sacked there on first down. Second down, incomplete pass, and then third down again. Another sack. My opponent using Cameron Wake there off the edge. Two plays in a row, completely untouched, unfortunately. So we're not able to get anything going there. We did have to punt. Now my opponent back on offense, and he's continuing to try and force the ball to Chris Johnson here. He's down multiple scores, but Chris Johnson's clearly his best player on his offense. He's going to go with a quick toss here, and he's going to pick up the first down. Nice little jump there by him. I got to give props on that one. Saw me coming, and he, he saw me diving, ended up making the play. And this play, he's going to force it to Roy Williams there, right at him. Roy Williams should have picked that one up. 
but the very next play he forces it again and Roy Williams comes up with the interception he missed it the first time but you can't test him twice in a row man without paying the price Roy Williams with a huge interception and we're going to continue to try and grind out some clock here with the running game Terrell Davis taking it up the middle for two straight plays brings it up now to a third and three and we're going to find a man there but Joe Horn gets hit and pushed backwards so that brings up then a fourth and five, and we do end up deciding to punt there. Unfortunate turn of circumstances there, but my opponent got the ball back. Very first play, forces it right at Dominic Rogers Cromartie, and he pays the price. DRC gets the pick, so now we're back in scoring position here with less than two minutes remaining in the game, and we're in a very good spot here, picking up the first down, run it out clock again. Second and eight, and we're going to find Terrell Davis here on the halfback screen. That aggressiveness by him, using his DN just too much. He wasn't able to stop us, and we do get the touchdown. Look at that sack. He tried to go with another screen pass. Didn't have time to get that one off even. And then here, get second and 19. Here. Look at Dominic Rogers cromartie his second interception here of the fourth quarter. And that is going to end this football game. My opponent does decide to rage win. <laughs> And guys, we get the first W of the season here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay footage. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We'll be bringing you guys more Madden 16 Ultimate Team in the coming days and weeks. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Talk to you again soon, and I'll see you guys here on Madden 16 Ultimate Team.